Hello everyone this is Ishani with IB Professional School welcome to the YouTube channel uh, today we're going to talk about something in Power BI a new update that came up uh, with the name called field parameters now first I'll explain you what the field parameter is all about how it has made our life in Power BI very easy and convenient and then we'll really talk about how to update the Power BI in order to get this new feature and then the working of it so let's get started. If you're a Power BI user, you would always already be working with the concept called bookmarks, which really helped us to create multiple charts or showcase multiple charts in one single placeholder, hence reducing the size or the number of charts that you want to display in the dashboard. So I have this bookmark already ready and this is showing me the sales trend right now. If I wanted to look at the trend of profit, once I click on the profit trend, it would change the trend. Again, sales trend, profit trend. So I have two charts within one placeholder. Now, this takes a lot of amount, a lot of uh, effort and the time that is consumed to create bookmark is there because you have to create all the charts you have to create these buttons you have to create the inactive buttons the placement and then the bookmarks have to be created then they have to be put actions so you can see how many steps were involved now power bi has introduced something called field parameter and what's the advantage of it like for example right now i'm looking at category wise profit if I wanted to see category by sales in the same placeholder, I can simply click on sales. If I want to look at quantity or I want to look at number of orders, all can be done in one place. And that's not just a good part. Not only I can change the measure based on which I'm looking at my graph, I can also change the field. So instead of looking at category, now let's say I wanted to see the, cat cat the quantity based on subcategory. So once I click here, now I've got the subcategory. If I wanted to look at based on family size, if I wanted to look at it at based on country, I can do that. And again, play around with the measures also. So this kind of feature was already there in Tableau, which made our work easier. However, I think in Power BI, they have made it even much more simpler than how we had to create it in Tableau. So let's get started of how to get this new update. We are going to go to file options and settings, options. And over here, there is something called preview features. So any new update or anything that new comes in Power BI, you will be able to find in preview features. And we are going to check mark the last part, which is field parameters. So in options, we went to preview features and in that field parameters. So once this is done, you would have to close your Power BI at least once. And then once you open the Power BI, then you will see in your modeling part, there is a new thing that pops up called new parameter. So it's not that parameters were not there. They were called what if parameters, which is still there in Power BI. But this new parameter gives us two choices, numerical range, if I want to work with, or I want to work with fields. So the what if parameter that was there in Power BI still exists in form of numerical range. And the one we want to talk about today is the field. So once I click on the field, it allows me to give a name of the field. Let's say I want to say select one. And then you can put the fields over here, reorder it, all those things. So the one that I did was I picked up the category. And I said, I want from the category, the category name. So that gets added. Then I want uh, from the, let's say, subcategories. I want the subcategory name to be there. It gets added. And similarly, then let's add the territory. I want to add the country. And if I want to rename these for the purpose of the list, if you double check on it, you can change the name. So instead of saying category name, I'll just leave it to category. And instead of subcategory name, I'll leave it to subcategory. Now, when this list is ready, 
it says add slicer to this page. So these parameters are going to be added as a slicer. We click OK. And our slicer is ready over here. Right now, how do I use it? <clears throat> so I'm going to create a simple clustered bar chart. And in this clustered bar chart, I want to see the work. I want to see how the sales is for the various for the various uh, you know the fields that I have over here as category, subcategory, and country. So right now it is just giving me total of sales. What I'll do on the y-axis in my clustered bar chart, I'm going to go ahead and drop this select one. And drop it over here in the y-axis. Once I've done this thing, now they are connected. Now, if I click on subcategory, I'll get subcategory by sale, country by sale, and category by sale. So what you're looking at is that we are able to change the fields. Instead of creating three different charts for the end user, we have only one chart and it allows the end user to play around with the one visual and look at different as from it from a different aspect. Now, what if I don't only want to work with sales? If I wanted to work with profit, if I want to work with the quantity, then again, I don't want three different charts. I want it in one single chart. So again, we go back to the modeling new parameter field and this time I'm going to pick select the measure and I am going to give measures rather than a categorical values over here so I'm going to go to my sales table where I've got various measures that are pre-created like the profit total number of orders quantity sales and like how we did previously we can change the names so that they are more readable And once you've got this thing, let's create another slicer would pop up. The slicer is over here. So in the place in the clustered bar chart where we had like once I select this thing, we had total axis to in X axis, we had put the total sales. But now we don't want total sales. We want the select measure to be dropped. So I'm going to remove this. And then I'm going to put select measure in the X axis. And we are ready. So now when I press profit, I'm able to see category wise profit, category wise total orders, category wise quantity, category wise sales. And similarly, if I wanted to change this by country, I can easily do that. So I think it's a fantastic feature added by Power BI. Not only it's a great feature, the ease of applying it on your visualization is equally good. So I was very thrilled when I saw this feature and wanted to share with you all. I hope you enjoyed it and you will find a utility in your dashboards. Thank you so much. Take care. Stay tuned for more videos like this.